every commercial fisherman that owns a boat down here in the harbor in Brookings has been doing it their whole lives. You don't go to some trade school to learn how to become a commercial fisherman and certainly not to become a skipper of a commercial fishing boat. It's something that generally you're born into. Brookings Harbor was hit by a tsunami in March of 2011 as a result of the earthquake that happened in Japan that day. About 70 commercial fishing boats sustained some sort of damage, either a little bit or in some cases, catastrophic. After a major Cascadia earthquake and tsunami, our rural communities along the coast will face extreme isolation from all the destruction of the vulnerable infrastructure out there. The infrastructure along coastal Oregon is by and large uh, old. None of them were designed to withstand earthquake shaking. We will have um, a lot of people isolated. Our roads will be down. The communities will be islands. I am a lifelong resident of Reedsport, and I am 59 years old. It is a very blue-collar city. Uh, when I was growing up, there was five sawmills, a pulp mill, a big fish plant, and basically they're all gone now. So there's a, much, uh, a transition right now. I've owned this property for 25 years and in that amount of time it's flooded three times. Before that there's been water in this building probably 10 times. The, the biggest hurdle that, that Oregon has is that our communities were built because of their access to a water body. And that water body is now becoming the very basis for the hazard that we're trying to mitigate. Um, it goes against a lot of the social ideals of the community members. They, they value the town because of its location and proximity to the water. One of the issues of a rural community is, is like myself, I live here because I want to live here. I could live anywhere I wanted realistically, but I want to live here. Um, we just don't have a whole lot to draw on here. Um, it's just because it's a small community. A small community has its own issues. I think the Rockefeller program has helped our team uh, by making us think outside the box, by helping us put uh, ideas together that uh, uh, really would not have been uh, generated without the assistance of the, uh, the folks who've been here participating in our workshops and our discussion groups. Um, it, has, it has made us look beyond what we traditionally know as being resilient and look at a long-term strategy so that um, we can be independent from each uh, neighboring communities during an event. Oregon has designed the Rural Resilience Oregon Incubator, and it's a process that is community-driven to build resilience in our rural communities. It's a program to uh, start the process of uh, resiliency in two demonstration communities, identifying and undertaking programs that can be further developed in other rural communities. Nearly every coastal community uh, is connected by a bridge. Uh, and most of these bridges are around the same age. Um, the bridge project for Reedsport, we're looking to create a model bridge for the rest of the state. This would not only take into account um, earthquake shift, but would also look at hydraulic loading created by a tsunami. I want Reedsport to be a 
place where people realize that that we have been innovative forward thinkers, that they're here because there are significant safeguards to protect them in case of, of an event. So I want my children to have an opportunity to, to make a living in their hometown and not have to move away. It is such a beautiful area. We have a unique climate. Uh, we have abundant natural resources. There, there's no reason for me to think that my children wouldn't want to be here in the future. Um, it's worth protecting. You know, we don't really fish for a paycheck. We fish because it's our lifestyle. We fish because we have an affinity with nature and affinity with the ocean. We're proud of what we do. We're proud of the product that we bring in. And we want to be able to continue to do that.